So what is this exactly? So since PlayStation VR 2 now has the support for eye tracking on PC, thanks to Waterhopper who just released their software, you can, in, you can increase your performance for games that are supported using foveated rendering, dynamic foveated rendering. So this, what this means is it blurs out the sides of your vision so that only the center is clear. And this gives you improved performance and things you don't see on the side, it just tracks your eyes so it follows your eyes around. And if you don't see it, then it's great. So this is uh, a software that helps you increase your performance basically and blurs out the sides. So first thing you want to do is download the PSVR 2 toolkit by what the hopper I'm gonna put all the links in the description so don't worry about it so go to releases get the latest release click on assets and then download driver and it's called PlayStation. just download it and then go to your PlayStation VR 2 app click on settings manage browse local files in the PlayStation VR 2 folder go to Steam VR plugin go to bin win 64 so here you see two files, click on driver underscore PlayStation VR 2, rename it to just add underscore O-R-I-G dot D-L-L. So this will be the final file name, driver underscore PlayStation underscore VR 2 underscore O-R-I-G dot D-L-L. And then for the file, you just download it, copy it and paste it in here. So this will be your final three files inside the folder Win64. You got this one, this one and this one. Make sure the names are all spelled right and you are done here, you can close this. Okay, once you've installed PSVR 2 Toolkit, so there are two versions of this. The first one is for OpenVR, so that's for games like Half-Life Alex. And there's another one by Butchia called for OpenXR. This is for OpenXR games. So let's start with OpenVR. So you want to download this one, it's Pimax Magic for All. So it's based off Pimax software. And then you go to uh, install this, get the Visual C++ Redistribute. And then you go to Releases. And then download Pimax Magic, and then download Pimax Magic for all. Allow download. So extract this wherever you want in a safe location. So once you have Steam VR started with your PSVR two, launch the dfr-ui.exe. So on default, it's going to be off. You can try between maximum, balance, and minimum to see how much you like. And if you launch the thing and it's not really working, press try reattach. So this works with some games. You can find on his website which for games it works with. It's a bit of trial and error. So he has a list on his website of games that have been tested. So I'm going to go with Half-Life Alex for this one, since you guys can see that. For Half-Life, you need a bit of an extra argument. Go to the properties and then I'm going to add the launch console option so that it turns off dynamic resolution and also turns off MSAH set to zero. So I'll put this in the link below so, so you can just copy and paste it. And then press play, blah, press play and the game will launch and you'll get your FPS. Next up, for OpenXR games. So this one is a bit more um, different because you really need to test on what games this works with. But the reason I use OpenXR is for quad views. So quad views helps with only like four games, if I recall. Yes, four games. DCS, Pavlov, Seven Guests, and Veil. Vale. So quad views gives you really good uh, performance for OpenXR. People mostly use this for DCS. Uh, but I'm gonna show you Pavlov for this one. So first download OpenXR eye trackers, blah, blah, blah. Download it and install it. And then after that, download quad views. Quad views. Download the latest version. Boom. Install it also. So by default, the game will automatically run with it. If you want to turn it off, I mean everything from now on is going to have it on. If it's supported. If it's not supported, it's not going to work. So if you want to turn it off and on, you can really do it to test to see if it works. Go to CMBR, right click, settings, and then go to OpenXR and then press Manage Open XR API Layers. So here you can see Emulate Quad Views for Vision Support. It's on right now, that means my performance is increased. If you turn it off and then restart your game or restart Steam VR if you want to be safe, you can see the performance difference for the game that's supported, like Pavlov. So you can turn it off and on to see if the game is supported. This also works with OpenXR Toolkit, but personally, 
I think it's better if you don't use it, the OpenXR Toolkit. You have to do a bunch of things like enable safe mode, etc. I would just disable it honestly. But up to you if there's an option if you want to use it with the OpenXR Toolkit.